For cleaning the pasta maker, the easiest thing is just to let all of the dough dry out completely so it's hard and brittle. If you don't have time to let it do that completely, you can still get most of it out. Your key tool is going to be a small wooden dowel. Your pasta maker should have come with one, but if you don't have it, you can always get one from a hardwood store, a craft supply, and even some grocery stores. You want to use the sharp pointy end to really get into all of the holes and crevices of the dies. This is going to be the hardest part in cleaning it, which means the drier and more stuck together your dough is, the easier it is to get out. You're going to use pretty much the same technique for the rest of your pasta maker as well. You want to make sure that in all of the crevices, everything, you want to get that dough out in one lump. So the drier it is, the easier it is to do that. Besides the dowel, you should also have a small brush. This is useful particularly for the inside of the pasta maker. We're kind of brushing the stuff away from the different parts. Unless you get into some of the crevices that would be a lot more difficult to do so with the dowel. And you just want to brush all that away. Most of the pasta maker should not be submerged in water because of the movable parts and the ability for it to rust. Any part that has metal and plastic, you should try and scrape clean well before you try soaking it.